Demi Lovato quits Twitter after 21 Savage Backlash. Mortal Kombat 11 director shares impressive Shaggy character mock-up. Is it true? Is Shaggy going to be actually in Mortal Kombat 11? Or is it just a meme? 21 Savage responds to ICE arrest. Lawyers say he never hid immigration status. Is 21 Savage going to be released from being detained? Or is he going to be put in jail or even worse, deported after they have realized that he was an immigrant from the United Kingdom? How's it going everybody? JT Sanders here and welcome to the commentary. And the first topic I'll be talking to you guys about is Shaggy. So as you guys know, Shaggy, Ultra Instinct Shaggy has been a meme for the past few days now and is showing no signs of letting up. Like, there are memes of Shaggy overtaking Goku, overtaking Sasuke, there are memes of you know how the original shit of the Scooby-Doo movie and how Shaggy used only 0.0% of his power to make the movie happen. Hell, even Velma, even Velma herself has stated that even Shaggy himself has created Velma and a real presence just to make the movie happen. She wasn't born, guys. She was created by Shaggy, God himself. There are memes of him not even using 10% of his power, 5% of his power, 0.1% of his power, and he is stronger than One Punch Man himself. That is scary, guys. Oh, about a couple days ago, there have been petitions to be over, over 275,000 signatures at the time um, of this video have been signed just so that Ultra Antique Shaggy is included within the DLC of Mortal Kombat 11. Hell, if the new character from Mortal Kombat has been, has been included, so why not include Shaggy? Because, you know, like Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, all of these like you know insane characters god of kratos from god of war has been added in so why not shaggy like even on twitter ed boone taking note of this meme and he's like all the aging shaggy he's been confirmed but it's highly unlikely because you know i'm pretty sure ed boone has, has taken notice that this is a meme it may or may not be included just because it's a meme you know like it's for fun like i doubt um that ed boone's gonna take the time to to actually include shaggy into the game who knows? You know, Ed Boon's pretty is, is a pretty fun guy. Let's see if if Ubisoft did it for the memes for Jigoro Chichanka, then I mean I don't think it's a stress to for him to include Shaggy in Mortal Kombat. I don't know. Maybe time will tell. The second topic I'll be talking about is why Demi Lovato quit Twitter after 21 Savage Backlash. Let me get to the lore here as to how this whole thing happened. Literally yesterday. Demi Lovato laughed at 21 Savage memes simply because he was British. And if you guys don't know what memes I'm talking about, here are a few. There's one of them being that says, they'll come out the house because they gang outside. And the gang is displaying the red coat, which is obviously the British army back in the Revolutionary War. Ice, how many years did you overstay your visa? 21, a lot. When 21 Savage says, I got shooters dressed in all red. This is what he was talking about. God damn. Yo, the internet is yet to be defeated. But aside the point, so this is exactly what Demi Lovato was laughing about. And you know how the internet was mocking Demi Lovato about her about her hair and drug usage. They did not say well with Demi Lovato. <laughs> Once uh, Demi Lovato made a tweet saying how funny the 20 most savage memes are, um, a few people on the internet, actually a handful of people on the internet, was talking how, um, aren't you uh, a crack addict? Aren't you um, a drug using mother effer? How? Why are you talking? Why are you here? You know, this 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 relentlessly pawning Demi Lovato, even though she didn't really do anything wrong, the internet still found a way to piss her off. So, in retaliation, Demi Lovato decided to take a step back from Twitter or hell the internet for just a little bit, simply because she didn't do anything wrong. Now, my opinion is that I didn't think that she deserved all of this. She was just she was just laughing at a few memes, yo. She was just having fun. And an internet had to come by and just ruin her fun just to piss her off. I don't understand. What's their deal? <laughs> Honestly, I feel bad for little Demi. Because, you know, she's trying to recover. She's trying to like, get a better life. But in the end, the internet has to find a way to literally bring up old memories from the past. Like Chris Brown. But I don't want to mention that. 
Tuna Savage's response to ICE arrest, lawyers say he never hid immigration status. So uh, this one's kind of a doozy, as not many people know like exactly what happened or as to like why exactly he got arrested. Abraham Josephs, which is 21 Savage, lawyers confirmed that his family overstayed their work visas in a statement Monday, but said Savage was left without legal status through no fault of his own. And he continued by saying, this is a civil law violation and a continued detention of Mr. Abraham Joseph serves not a purpose and to unnecessarily punish him and try to intimidate him into giving up his right to fight to remain in the United States. Obviously, our client is not a flight risk as he is widely recognizable and a prominent figure of the music industry. Likewise, Mr. Abraham Joseph is clearly not a danger to the society, and in fact, his contributions to local communities and schools that he grew up in are examples of type of immigrant we want in America. That being said, despite the people saying, oh, you know, his visa doesn't necessarily cover his right to be in the United States, despite not having a green card, I do believe that he should have the right to remain in the US simply because he's such a huge figure in like not only the music industry, but around the world and I do believe that since that he's contributed to so much in a good point of view I do believe that not only him but I think that others like other innocent you know immigrants should have the right to remain in the United States without any problems so like I really hope that Mr. 21 Savage here to be such a prime example of how to handle immigration in the US even though it is a prominent figure, even though it's it's a bit like biased because of it, but I do believe that some sort of illegal rights to stay in the U.S. Other ends of people who who believe that that the U.S. would be the best place for them, despite them being illegally immigrated to the country. Also, it's the fact that he like kind of was like grew up and he raised he was raised in Atlanta. That also kind of proved my point that he should just stay in the U.S. Like, there's no reason to detain him after like 20 or so years after the fact that he migrated to the U.S. Like a week from now, like I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like more in detail as to like what is going on, as to like what's gonna be happening to Tony Savage next. Is he gonna get arrested? Is he gonna get detained back to the U.K.? Is he gonna remain to live in the U.S. You know, for as long as he lived? We we'll never know. And like, I do hope that 21 Savage will. Well, we'll keep his rights. Well, well, actually, I hope that not only Tornado Savage, but like the, the, um, the community will fight his right to remain in the U.S. Because I think that's, like, I really think that is kind of messed up for him to, you know, be forced back to the U.K. And him having to move to Atlanta where he grew up for most of his life. You know, I don't know. I think it's kind of far-fetched. You know, like I said, you know, I hope, you know, everything goes well. And we will see what's going to be going to happen in the future. If you guys have your own opinion on the subject matter, if you guys think that he should be detained to the UK, or if you guys think that he should remain in the US, it's up to you guys. Y'all can like let me know in the comments below. And if I'm missing some sort of information, if I'm mis misinformed about you know some parts, also let me know in the comments below. And I'll be gladly to respond. And I hopefully will learn from it and I will correct my mistakes. <laughs> so yes. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.